From the show surprisingly getting renewed for season 14, to the rumors of a possible exciting spin-off, here's everything you need to know about the future of Blue Bloods. First off, let's talk about the show getting renewed for another season. I know most of us were worried when we didn't see Blue Bloods on the CBS list of renewed shows for a while, but everyone can finally release the tension they've been holding because it's been announced that Blue Bloods will be back for another season. That's right, folks, we're getting season 14. And this news was confirmed by none other than the president of CBS Entertainment, Amy Reisenbach. In her announcement, Amy talked about how ever since the show has made its premiere, it has continued to dominate Friday nights. Not only that, but the show has also become a very important anchor for CBS's winning lineup. She said, the viewers have loved the series' dramatic storytelling and the incredible cast. You're right about that, Amy. In her own words, Reisenbach added, we can't wait to pull up a chair to the Reagan family dinner table for another fantastic season. The excitement is real, guys. The official Blue Bloods Instagram account then shared the news with the world too, and the fans couldn't contain their happiness. Immediately, the comments were flooded with congratulations. But so far, no official release date has been announced. Still, according to multiple sources, it's very likely that season 14 will premiere during the fall. So it looks like fans won't have to wait too long. But as it turns out, the show getting renewed came with a huge price. And I mean that literally, guys. Yep, I'm talking about the producers and cast's pay cuts. The Hollywood Reporter shared the news that much of the cast and producers took a 25% pay cut, just so that the show could get renewed. That's a pretty big sacrifice. Not only that, but this also helped much of the production of the show keep their job. It's not surprising to know that veteran shows become more expensive as they age, especially this one considering all the permits the studio pays to film in New York City. A lot of fans have had to see their favorite shows get canceled due to budget problems. While Blue Bloods might be seen as an intense police drama, at its heart, it's a family show. So just like a true family, the whole cast joined forces to ensure that the series continued, even if it meant that they would lose millions. I'm not kidding, guys. Tom Selleck, who is earning $200,000 per episode, will face a loss of a whole million for this new season. Donnie Wahlberg, who gets $150,000 per episode, will lose around $750,000. And the list goes on. But you guys get the idea. All in all, the fans should be pretty grateful to the cast for agreeing to this term and allowing us to see one more season of Blue Bloods. Which leads me to talk about what everyone's thinking. Is season 14 going to be the last season of the hit show? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but as rumors have it, the show isn't getting renewed after season 14. Let me give you guys a rundown of all the possible reasons why this could happen. The first one is pretty obvious. Like I said earlier, the budget cuts have really put everyone in a tight spot. Sure, the producers and cast have agreed to it for one season, but people honestly don't see anyone keeping up with such major pay cuts for a long time. The production for the show is now costing more than the studio can afford, especially with it introducing new series to keep the viewers hooked. It's fair to assume that they want to wrap up Blue Bloods as soon as possible. Plus, keeping aside everyone's love for the series, you've got to admit, Blue Bloods has gotten kind of repetitive. The thrill of watching it just isn't there anymore. The same exact thing happened with Criminal Minds, with the show reaching a point where the storyline is the same old storyline every single day. There's nothing left to explore. Some fans have even speculated that the show only got renewed because the writers wanted to give all the characters a proper send-off. If that really is the case, I hope the writers get back on their A-game and give every character of the show a good ending. But all's not lost yet, folks, because there have been talks about a potential spin-off. Yep, you heard that right. A spin-off would be an ideal way to trim costs, while also making sure the viewership doesn't go away, right? I mean, you have to keep in mind that there aren't a lot of Friday shows that have had the success of Blue Bloods. 
so it would be kind of a stupid move by the network to just end it. That said, let's talk about some spin-off possibilities. The spin-off can be a legal drama starring Bridget Moynihan. But honestly, out of the whole cast, the easiest one to base the spin-off on would be Will Hockman. Just think about it, folks. His character is quite popular among the fans, and I'm pretty sure he'd be an inexpensive star to continue with as compared to Tom. Plus, it's super easy to move Will around story-wise. The plot can be about how he lived much of his life as a normal cop before the world knew he was a Reagan, and how he just wanted to go somewhere else where he could feel normal again. On top of all that, the directors can even make the OG cast members visit him once or twice. Even the showrunner Kevin Wade discussed the possibility of a spin-off happening after the main Blue Blood series came to an end. In an interview with TV Insider, Tom said he'd be up for anything since he's got a mortgage to pay. He talked about how the show has a lot of life, as long as the creators let the characters grow and get older. But I just want to say that nothing's been set in stone yet. So don't come at me if all these reports turn out to be rumors in the end. Anyways, let's get back to talking more about Season 14 stuff. Like, who's going to be a part of the cast? It's pretty obvious that Blue Bloods has gotten very popular because of its talented and diverse cast. The main cast of the show hasn't changed much over the years, while many guest stars have made appearances, like Whoopi Goldberg as the New York City Council Speaker. Since no major lead actors have announced that they are leaving the show, fans can pretty much expect the OG cast to continue. I mean, it'd be pretty heartbreaking if any member of the Reagan family left before the show wrapped up for good. For now, it seems that we'll be seeing Tom and the rest of the gang at their family dinners on Sunday in the next season. Now, with a talented cast like this, it's not surprising to know that the upcoming season is going to be as addictive as the previous ones. For the past two seasons, fans have been complaining a lot when it comes to the writing of the show. Like I explained to you guys earlier, people are finding it hard to tune in to watch the show because nothing new is happening. I mean, the least the writers could do is make Frank retire, just to change things up a little, you know? Still, there's a lot of expectations from the upcoming season. It's highly likely that it'll explore new issues such as cybercrime and immigration laws. You can also expect a few exciting cases that'll keep everyone glued to their screens. Plus, the season will be around 16 episodes, so that's a good amount of time for the writers to develop the characters and provide the viewers with interesting twists. What's more is that fans have been hoping for a romance between Danny Reagan and Maria Bayes since Season 8. We could see the two get into a relationship in Season 14. That's super exciting. Well, there you have it. That was the future of Blue Bloods.